Hi, my name is Tai Chong Zhen. I'm a hepatologist from the National Taiwan University Hospital in Taiwan. In the following four minutes, I'm going to tell you how our research team used a large cohort study to explore the relationship between the co-related antigen level and the risk of HPV-related HCC. Chronic HPV infection is an important global health issue, which resulted in nearly 1 million deaths per year. One of the major cause of death is hepatocellular carcinoma. Therefore, it is quite important to identify the patient at high risk of HCC. Recently, hepatitis B correlated antigen has emerged as a new biomarker to be associated with active HPV replication. The goal of our study is to investigate whether correlated antigen level could be used to predict HCC risk, especially in patients who may not need antiviral treatment. To address this important issue, we conducted a retrospective cohort study, which included 2,666 patients with chronic HPV infection. All of them did not have liver cirrhosis at baseline, and they did not receive antiviral treatment during the follow-up. In other words, these patients are good candidates for study the natural history of HPV. In the entire cohort, 209 patients developed HCC during a mean follow-up period of nearly 16 years. We firstly categorized all the patients by a log 10 scale of correlated antigen level. In this figure, y-axis is the cumulative incidence of HCC. We found a higher correlated antigen level was associated with increased HCC risk, and the multivariable analysis also support this finding. After showing correlated antigen level and the independent risk factor for HCC, we decided to compare whether it served as a better predictor than HPV DNA and the surface antigen level. We then analyzed their area under ROC curve in predicting HCC development, and we found that the AURC to be comparable between correlated antigen level and HPV DNA level. Both were higher than that of surface antigen level, as our data suggests that correlated antigen level was not superior to HPV DNA. We decided to explore whether correlated antigen could redefine the HCC risk in patients with different ranges of HPV DNA. We focused on a spatial population, which included 445 E antigen negative patients who had a normal ALT at baseline and the intermediate viral load. That is HPV DNA level between 2,000 and 20,000 units per meal. These patients are in the gray zone to initiate antiviral treatment. We found the correlated antigen level of 10,000 units per meal could identify the patient at increased risk of HCC, and the crude SR ratio was 6.29. In conclusion, in a follow-up study of patients with chronic HPV infection, correlated antigen level is an independent risk factor of HCC, and its level of 10,000 units per meal could identify the patient with intermediate viral load but an increased HCC risk. And this data may suggest this patient may benefit more from an early antiviral treatment.